So Blender on tablets is really happening. It started when someone decided to port over the popular free 3D software to Android. Ta-da, it's real, I have it here. And then just a few days ago, Blender posted on their development blog all of their plans to bring Blender to tablets in general, like iPads and Android and all the things they have to do to make it work properly there. They said this, the audience is Blender users. There's no distinction between desktop or tablet users the same way mouse, keyboard, and graphic tablet users are treated equally. Therefore, there's no specific intention of simplifying or tailoring Blender to appeal to an audience that might not be familiar with Blender or 3D. I love this. Hold on, let me switch over to real brass. God, that's never easy. I really do love this philosophy of not paring Blender down just to make an iPad version. They are working on new interface ideas to make Blender work better with touch interfaces, and Blender is so reliant on the keyboard and the mouse that I'm genuinely curious to see how they incorporate some of these touch and stylus controls. They talk about some of the UI issues around this, like the smaller screen real estate and most tablets not having a keyboard and mouse out of the box. On their site, they even have a, like a little mock-up video to show how the interface might look as they kind of implement some of these things. Although since there are so many tablets these days that do have that kind of optional keyboard cover with a trackpad, I'd imagine that anybody who's really serious about using Blender on one of these tablets like frequently would probably be willing to invest in something like that or maybe already has something like that. My personal opinion would be this. Touch and stylus support is cool, really looking forward to that, but I'm okay with being required to use a keyboard and mouse to like fully utilize the program. There are going to be some compromises. Like I would imagine that like rendering a full scene would eat through your battery pretty darn quick on one of these tablets. So if you're rendering, you're gonna wanna be plugged in. It's a compromise. You wanna do everything in Blender. You have to have a mouse and a keyboard or something that's equivalent to that. That's a compromise. And these are prices I would happily pay to have the full Blender experience on a tablet. So this will be full Blender. So this does sound different than what say Adobe is doing with Photoshop and Illustrator and their apps on the iPad where they're really pared down and really kind of streamlined. Here's what the blog post says. While the ultimate goal is a complete Blender experience, the initial focus will be on basic object manipulation and sculpting. These will be followed by grease pencil and storyboarding, which are slightly more advanced as they require animation tools. Cool, makes sense, kind of roll this out in iterations. So when is this coming? There's no definitive date right now, but they are gonna be demoing some of the stuff they've been working on at the upcoming SIGGRAPH show in early August. Oh my gosh, it's early August. So let's flip on over to camera mode. I have my Android tablet right here. This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab Ultra S9. This is an older variation. I, I'm gonna explain that in a minute. So like I said at the top, there's two projects. The one is what the official Blender team is working on that they're hoping to bring to iPads and Android tablets in the future. This is somebody else, since Blender is open source, who decided to just take it and see if they could get it to run on a tablet. This is far from final. This is not in the App Store. You have to download it separately and then tell your Android tablet, hey, it's okay to run this. And I think what they have here is a pretty cool proof of concept. However, it's not perfect. Like I said, it's not in the App Store yet. Don't expect it to run great. In fact, it does crash on me or freezes up every time I leave the app to do something else and then come back. I'm using this tablet instead of the latest Galaxy tablet because the latest Galaxy tabs have a MediaTek processor. This is a Snapdragon processor and Blender runs better on a Snapdragon processor right now. So I'm gonna just go ahead and tap the icon and we're loading up Blender. We're, we are rocking. Now, again, there's a lot of caveats here to what I'm going to show, but basically this is full Blender. They've just put it on an Android tablet. So there's no compromises here. They haven't done anything to like accommodate the touch screen. Um, so I have plugged in a mouse and a keyboard here. And uh, where where is my mouse? There it is. So I could come in here and I could spin around or I could pan around. So yeah, if, if you do wanna try something like this, you are gonna need a mouse and a keyboard and be able to plug it into your Android tablet or Bluetooth it or whatever. I tried to open a file that already existed because I thought it'd be fun to kind of render some stuff out and play with some things and just see what happens. Um, but I wasn't able to open anything here again. This isn't the most stable thing I've ever used. It's just a proof of concept. So let me tab into edit mode here and let's just fiddle around. I'm gonna take the top of this and extrude it up and then maybe I'll inset it a little bit, click it. We'll extrude that up again. Uh, maybe we scale this. Maybe we could extrude it and just kind of have some fun with it. Maybe we grab a different face 
we'll extrude, hold on, we will extrude that face out, maybe we'll scale it up, extrude it again, inset it, there we go, and extrude it one more time, just to start making some shapes, um, just to have fun with it. So yeah, this is just like, it just totally works, it's Blender. I gotta go over to uh, viewport shading here, and I think it just froze up on me, okay. Oh, wait, no, is it here? No, it's blinking. It is rendering, it is seeing the light source. Can I turn the camera when I do this? No, <laughs> when I try to, it starts doing some weird things. How about now? There we go. There we go. I got it working. So this is using Eevee, which is much easier to render things in Eevee. It's less intensive. If I go over to Cycles, you know, actually, this is obviously not a, like a super complicated thing, but I am like really impressed by like how this is working so far. Yeah. Pretty cool. So this was just a quick update news video. I'm gonna link some of this stuff down below. So if you have an Android tablet and you wanna try running this on yours, go ahead, have at it, see what you can do with it. If you have an iPad, you're gonna have to be patient, but good stuff is coming. Good stuff is gonna be happening. What do you think about Blender on a mobile device? Is it worth it? Do you think this is gonna be cool? Do you think you're just gonna stick with your computer at home? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you in a couple of days.